Hi, it's uh, Steve at Divine Wind Soap. I'd uh, like to devote this video to talking a little bit about uh, molds and uh, pertaining to me, the novice and the type of molds to use. Uh, I have found various kinds. I have made various kinds. Uh, the loaf molds seem to work very well. Uh, some of them have these uh, attachments and the hinges on the ends and the pieces come out and they open up quite, uh, quite well. As a new soaper, what I found is I didn't have enough confidence in my abilities to uh, experiment and have the right molds uh, and the right amount of soap. So uh, what I found is I, was, uh, I didn't want to ruin a 20-bar uh, batch of soap. I would much rather, if I was going to experiment, ruin a 5- uh, or a 2- or a 4-bar batch. But uh, as you can see, you can end up having a whole lot of molds around. So I finally reached the point where I wanted to design something that was uh, adjustable to fit the needs that I had, whether I wanted to uh, cast a single bar of soap or 50 bars. And what I came up with, let me just set this here, is what I call the uh, infinitely adjustable Stairway to Heaven Ninja Soap Mold. Now, it's uh, infinitely adjustable because that's what it is, up to 50 bars. I called it Stairway to Heaven because I'm from the era where I really like that song. And since I've been using this, I've been in soap heaven as far as uh, having my molds work for me. And I put ninja in there because anything sounds more exotic if you put the word ninja in it. So here's my uh, Stairway to Heaven ninja mold. I made the mold an even increment of the sizes that my soap is. My soap is an inch and a quarter by two and a half by three and a half. So this box is five bars long, five bars wide, and I could put it in a flat mold in that manner and create 25 bars. If I put in two and a half inches of soap rather than an inch and a half and cut them long ways, I could make 50 bars of soap. But I wanted something adjustable that if I was trying a new fragrance or a small amount that I could use a very small amount of waste if it came to waste. So I went to my local Lowe's store and I had them cut me some plexiglass sheets that were just the right size to make these edges. And uh, then these side ones hold them up there. And I like this because I don't have to continually uh, line this mold. I can uh, the soap will separate from this relatively easily, and so it became a, a very easy thing to put those in. I would still put paper at the base of the mold because uh, it seems like you want it to come out of there. I tried plexiglass, but there is still a little too much adherence. So the paper works fine on the bottom. This box just fits a large roll of uh, paper. Then I needed a slider, so I made a slider that was here and it was pretty close tolerance on this and then I got another piece of plexiglass that would make the edge of it. Now the last thing I did was make a three and a half inch piece, a seven inch piece, and a ten and a half inch piece. That's one bar, two bar, three bars. So if I wanted to make one bar of soap all I would do is put in, and I glued the plexiglass on the sides of these so that I didn't have to juggle too many things at once. So if I wanted a single bar of soap, I just brought my slider up, I brought my spacer down to where I needed it, and then I've seen a lot of ways to attach things, but these clamps are fast and handy and easy and by the time you squeeze that together it pretty well holds it. You can put a little piece in here to hold this a little bit better but I can cast one bar of soap that way. If I move it back to here I can do two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all the way up to a full loaf which is ten bars. Then if I wanted something a little bit, if I wanted to make a twenty bar batch, then what I do is put in my two bar spacer which is right here, and attach this down. I could pour that two loaves and make a, a double double batch of soap or 20 bars in there. By using the uh, three bar, the two bar, or the one bar, and using various um, um, combinations of that, I can make an infinite number of bars, or at least as many as I need to make, without worrying too much about having 25 different molds around. 
in order to do it. So this satisfied my requirements quite well as far as giving me, as a new soaper, the option of uh, creating one bar of soap or uh, uh, creating 50 bars of soap. Um, if you need to hold a few of these little pieces in on the sides, these little clamps do well. Uh, these small ones yet will help out if you have a little bit. So with a combination of using the clamps and uh, using the, uh, the divider and the slider, you can have a very handy mold. I use this mold about exclusively. Here is one, second one I have, that I have divided into a four loaf, a four -loaf mold. And that way I could pour a single set, one, two, three, four different loaves if I want to, take the thing apart, separate them out. And all I did here is nail, whoop, come all the way through that would hold these spacer bars in place. So that's very handy for individual batches of 10. This is very handy for larger batches of 25 or, uh, or 50 bars. So that's my infinitely adjustable Stairway to Heaven Ninja Soap Mold. Uh, please don't ask me to make you one of these. The tolerances have to be pretty tight for it not to leak. And it takes a little bit of engineering to get it put together. But a lot of you people are very, very good at, uh, at these handicraft things. And uh, you certainly could make something of this nature. So thanks for listening. See you again.